The Galaxy S8 has officially broken cover and at launch will arrive in three colours in both the US and Europe, Midnight Black, Arctic Silver and something called Orchid Grey. I'm Chris Carlin with Android Authority, here to take a closer look at your Galaxy S8 colour options. Before we get down to each specific colour, the first thing to note is that, at least at launch, every version of the Galaxy S8 will have a black front bezel. But rest assured that if you don't see your favourite colour here yet, more are undoubtedly coming. But on to the colours we have now. First up is Midnight Black, the sexiest, sleekest and stealthiest option by far. It's almost identical to the black Galaxy Note 7. The black metal frame and front bezel make the phone the most consistent looking of all the options and the side buttons and camera and finger scanner on the back just melt into the inky blackness and virtually disappear. The black is very high gloss though, just as it was on the Note 7, and as such it's going to collect fingerprints in exactly the same way. While Samsung has some really great colours up its sleeve these days, the company still doesn't seem to recognise just how disgusting these phones get the very first time you touch them. If you're into obsessive cleaning, then you're in for a treat. If not, then maybe invest in a case. Next up is Arctic Silver. While the colour is, in some lighting conditions, similar to last year's Silver Galaxy S7, in others it's much darker. One thing it definitely isn't though, is the same kind of gleaming mirror-like surface. Reflections are diffused a lot more on this year's Galaxy S8 colours, which have taken on a much more subdued palette as well. They're still quite reflective, but it's a superficial reflection, without the shimmer underneath the glass. If you like white phones, the Arctic Silver S8 is the closest you're going to get at launch. As I mentioned, more colours will undoubtedly be arriving and they may include a white version, but for now this is as white as it gets. The metal chassis of the Arctic Silver S8 has a slight gold hue to it and the camera, flash and fingerprint scanner on the back stick out more than on any other colour. Not physically of course, everything is nice and flush, but they don't disappear just like they do on the black version. Finally, Orchid Grey. Describing this colour in words or even in photos is a little difficult, because it constantly shifts depending on the lighting conditions, as you can probably see in this video. At times almost identical to coral blue, at others a dark gunmetal grey, and sometimes very similar to arctic silver. No matter which way the colour skews though, there's always a subtle lilac undertone that's really lovely on the eye. The metal edges of the phone are a straight silver colour, but despite having black bezels on the front, silver metal edges and a shape-shifting lilac back panel, the phone never feels like a mishmash. It brings just the right amount of sex appeal to an otherwise unassuming colour. As mentioned, each colour of the Galaxy S8 has a corresponding default wallpaper, which can of course be changed just like any other. There isn't any default theming going on with the software or anything like that, so the colour choices are only felt in the back panel, edges and on the wallpaper. Considering the immense popularity of the coral blue colour last year though, we're sure we'll see that option crop up soon enough, alongside the darker blue Galaxy S8 we recently saw leaked. Both a white and a gold version might also be in the works if the leaks are to be believed, and there's always the possibility that Samsung will jump on the fire engine red bandwagon sooner or later. So that's it for the available colour options at launch, hit the comments and let us know which one you prefer, which colour you want to see up next, and be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more, and hit us up on all the socials because we are your source for all things Orchid.